Hey everybody, Technically Jeff here, and have you ever been like me and thought it would be really nice if there was an app that allowed me to track everything with regards to my vehicles in one place, keep track of all the service that's been done, set reminders for upcoming maintenance, track mileage, fuel economy, EV efficiency, that sort of thing, and like I said, keep it all in one place so you don't have to have separate Excel spreadsheets or mileage books or different apps for tracking everything. Well, there is a new app out there called ARBA Auto that allows you to do all of these things. And the company actually reached out to me to take a look at their app, test it out. I've been using it for a few weeks now and it works pretty good. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the process of setting up the app, adding in your vehicles, and then I'll show you what you can do with it. So again, the app is called ARBA Auto, and you can download it from the App Store or Google Play Store. And if you go to arba.app, it has links directly to be able to download it. And on that site, it also has a lot of information about the app itself. You can see a list of main features and what's included for free. There's also a premium extension you can get for your car that isn't subscription-based, which is good. It's just one payment that gives you even more features. But the majority of features are included in the free version, which is a big positive. But yeah, let's go ahead and get everything set up and add in vehicles. So you register like you do for most things. You can log in with Google or Facebook, or you can manually add your information. I personally use Google because it's really easy. Then once you're set up, you can go to your user profile and customize your information. Add a profile photo, set a username, add a bio, set contact info and social media handles. Then you can add your vehicles. I had my EV6 in here, but I deleted it so I can walk you through the process. I do still have my wife's Pacifica here, as well as a Tesla Model Y they imported for me so I can show you guys some examples of data and historical information, but let's add my EV6 first. So you go to the plus icon, then add in your vehicle info. It does have a comprehensive list of vehicles, but if you happen to have a car that isn't listed, they have a link on their site where you can submit to have a vehicle added. As you're adding things in, one thing to note, if you have a plug-in hybrid, you can select more than one type of fuel. So for my wife's specific plug-in hybrid, for example, I have petroleum and electric listed, but for my EV6, it's just electric. And then you hit done and it's saved. Then you can go to the vehicle itself and that's where you track all the information. So the main tab is the timeline and this is where you will track everything. So you tap the pencil icon and it gives you the option to track a variety of things here. I think it's a good idea to do maintenance reminders first to have everything planned out. So I'll go to add reminder. Here you can name it and set the start date, time period, and completion date. And you can make it repeatable. So for example, with the key EV6, there's certain maintenance items that need to be done every 8,000 miles. This makes it so you don't have to enter it in a bunch of times. You select the category, I'll put scheduled maintenance. While I'm here, you can see there are other reminder types for spare parts replacement, vehicle payments, registration, document renewals, and another category. You can add notes. So if you want to title it, say regular maintenance, then put in the notes what needs to be done, you can do that. And you can set it when to be notified that the reminder is coming up. And you can do this for a variety of things. It will take a little bit to put everything in here, but once it's in there, it's a nice way to track everything all in one place. And again, as you have service completed, you can put those records in here too. I think this is going to be one of the most beneficial things of the app. For example, I'd note what was done take photos of the invoice that outlines the work that was completed and store that in here as well. Service records are very important to keep, especially when it comes to any warranty claims to ensure the dealership doesn't try to say you didn't complete necessary service and deny the claim. For mileage, it's really easy to input that as well. You just update the mileage you're at and you can add a note. For tracking miles per gallon or EV efficiency, you can input your mileage when you fill up and it will calculate things for you there automatically. Now pulling up the Model Y they have in here, you can see a comprehensive history as an example of what it can be used for. They've listed all kinds of warranty information in here, reminders for things like rotating tires, subscriptions, insurance, lubricating brake calipers. They've got expenses for charging, parking, subscription costs, car washes, then on the reports tab, you can see information on mileage, expenses, fuel consumption. And they have graphs in here as well. So if I click on distance, you can see historical distance driven by month. They also have a mileage forecast too, which is pretty cool. You can check year to date info, one year of history or all history. You can do the same thing with expenses. You can see how much you're spending by month. And for electricity, you can see similar things here too. This is also where you see some additional calculations included too. So if you want to see your efficiency, your miles per kilowatt hour, for example, you can select that. 
and you can see your historical miles per kilowatt hour by month, which is really cool to see. You can definitely see how seasonality impacts efficiency here. And if you have a gas vehicle, this is where you would see miles per gallon as well. But yeah, overall, I'm very pleased with the app. It's nice to have everything in one place for easy tracking, especially service records and maintenance. My glove box will definitely thank me. <laughs> and it's early on in the app's life too, so new features and functionality will continue to be added as well. So check it out. Let me know if you guys have any questions. You can also contact them on their site. Again, it's arba.app. They have a user guide section there, which can help answer questions too. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.